Hey badminton community, it's Henry and Jeff here from Volant and the Badminton Podcast. We've had lots of people ask us for reviews on the Astrox 88 rackets, so here's our review of the 88S. We've also reviewed the 88D, so make sure you check that out if you haven't seen it yet. You'll find the link for that review in the description below. Now before we get started, we just want to let you know that these reviews are based on our personal opinions only. So we all know that everyone has their own preferences in their rackets, and we're more than happy to hear about them. Just comment below. And for those of you who don't have time to watch this whole review, but want to know what our thoughts are, we rated this racket a 36 out of 50, which is based on feeling and handling, control, power, speed, and aesthetics. The S in the 88S stands for skill. This racket is designed for skillful players to set up attacking opportunities for their partners, and it's used by the world number one men's doubles player, Kevin Sanjaya Sukumonjo. Like the 88D, its key features include an all new NAMD graphite, which makes the racket more responsive and stronger, so you can string it up to 29 pounds. It has a rotational generator system that allows it to feel like a control racket and power racket at the same time. It is described as a hybrid balanced and power racket, meaning that it feels balanced when stationary, but head heavy when attacking or hitting smashes. It's actually 5mm longer than a conventional racket, but it's 5mm shorter than the 88D. So let's talk ratings. Feeling and handling, we give it a 7.5 out of 10 because it cuts through the air smoothly. It feels more even balanced when manoeuvring as the technology suggests. It has a semi-hard feeling with a bit of a flex, uh, but it doesn't feel like there's much shock absorption upon impact. So what about control? We gave it a 7.5 out of 10. It has a softer feeling on impact of the shuttle compared with the 88D. And overall, the control was quite good and it allowed for pretty good shot accuracy and placement. So what about power? In terms of power, we give it a 7 out of 10 because it's not bad overhead and you can still generate some power, just not quite as much as the 88D, just because it still has that head heaviness feeling even though it's quite just a little bit lighter than the 88D. And because it is a little bit lighter, in terms of speed, we gave it a rating of 7.5 out of 10. The maneuverability is quite good, especially in defense and in driving around the body. But like Henry said, we couldn't generate as much power, so your driving isn't quite as powerful. And in the front court, the attacking shots at the net were relatively fast and swift because it is a little bit lighter in the head. And how does it look? We give the aesthetics a 6.5 out of 10. We do prefer the 88D, but it is an opinion only. We think that the white on the racket head just doesn't look quite as nice. So, who is this racket for? So you're probably looking at a front court doubles player. A doubles player that relies on driving and fast exchanges and defense to set up rallies or win points with counter attacks. It's probably not going to be for the all out attacking player because he can't generate a power as easily as the 88D. But just as a disclaimer, the Astrox 88 rackets aren't as forgiving because of its head heaviness and stiffness. So if you are a beginner, you may want to consider that something a little bit easier to play with. So if you're someone who prioritizes speed and maneuverability over brute power, then this is a racket you should consider. It's, it's not completely devoid of power too though. It still has some stiffness and head heaviness to generate power. So if you've enjoyed this video or found it useful, make sure you obliterate the like button YouTube algorithm. Share it with your badminton friends and be sure to subscribe for more reviews from us. Now we have referred to the 88D quite a few times in this review so make sure you do check out that video as well.